okay, I went back and go on there is... I'd but killed like... Kondo, but at least he hadn't killed me. But not that back, you know. On Kondo's body was an amulet. It had to be worth finding out what it was, so I took it. And... He's carrying a propeller. And... Propeller, propeller, not enough them want to plane. Why on earth? Polly, does he do that? Other than like the, uh, the luggage, the, uh, the Trojan Tesla cube thing with the Elven Lange. But, uh, that's all pretty good to fix here. When I went back to the mansion, the butler had some grim news for me. The Count had shuffled off his mortal coil in the recent disc quake. He was sleeping the big sleep, pushing up daisies, crossing the final frontier, booking a vacation to the underworld. Basically, he was dead. Fortunately, he'd left provisions for me in his will. He'd pay my way to the end of the case, and more importantly, he was allowing me to continue to use the library. Well, what did it matter to him who used the library now he was gone? When you're dead, you were sleeping the big sleep, and nothing much mattered to you anymore. All the nastiness was behind you. For the rest of us, the nastiness was still all around us. And if I didn't stop that nastiness from crushing us all under its tentacles, we'd all be sleeping the big sleep. Frankly, I didn't think the afterlife would have enough beds. <laughs> Doesn't even ask. Oh, I gotta walk to it when doors open load up just like in you. Oh, what was that one with the zombies? I worked out Umbrella a translation Corp. for the phrase I'd seen on the wall of the sepulchral temple. What they don't know will kill them. Unfortunately, without something to cross-reference with it, I couldn't find out anything else about it. Yeah, the one time at these, um, nope thing, it's um, actually just automatic go back into, go back into loot. I had a look through the Necro Telecomnicon discussed for students to see if I could find any more useful information. It wasn't long before I found the phrase that had been inscribed on the wall of the sepulchral temple, Quad Nessiant Eos Interficit. It turned out to be the motto of an ancient cult, the Dark Sect of Nylonathotep, whose emblem was the triple-lobed eye. The tome told me a little of the history of the cult. It seems the mad cultists of the laddering horror had conspired to destroy all creation, but their attempt failed, obviously, and they were believed to have faded into obscurity. I had a suspicion that's exactly what the cult wanted people to think. According to the book, the cult had a sacred artifact, a source of great power known as the Radiant Trapezohedron, which could destroy Nylonathotep or give him dominion over all things, if it fell into his tentacles. There was no description of it, although the author seemed to think it was something small. There was something about a cult plotting to destroy all creation that disturbed me. I had a feeling you couldn't reason with people like that. Not much like, um... They're Latitians. So what well, that is just written in the notebook. I looked for another reference to the radiant trapezohedron and found it in the Encyclopedia Tenius. Apparently, 400 years ago, the Order of the Sacred Tulip swore to find the trapezohedron and prevent it from falling into the hands of the Dark Sect. Legend had it that one knight swore to never rest until he was sure it could never fall into the hands of the Dark Sect. According to the Encyclopedia, he eventually found the trapezohedron and brought it to Ankh-Morpork, 
where he was buried alongside it. There he is, Matt Gallantier. Okay, home. I just put that right there. All right, so I'm gonna bring in something here. I'm in. I'm trying to growl spell to desktop some on your desktop brother. Okay. So what the people that has this is what kind of like trip and so she drinks. Or a, um, or a pentag pentagon or pentagram to get up as a hedron. That's what they, that's what it looks like according to Wikipedia. All right, I just need to turn that on. Or on my dub, just complete that now. Okay. I need to ask. Go down here. Um, Tristan's palace. Oh, the guards on here. Big open door, but yeah, I still gotta go up to the side. I run somewhere in this mess is the limbo. Oh, that's right. We it really, really like to go to this the clickies. every single time. You know, you, I get that right every time I do the same one. And boy, I guess having a well this body now really makes it easier to claim those lands. When I went back to Leonard's cell, it was lacking a large part of the wall. The disc quake must have taken its toll on the palace. Leonard and two conquerors were still working on the flapping wing flying device like nothing had happened. Have you heard of the Radiant Trapezohedron? What is this being? Well, I don't really know. It's a source of great power. That's the only thing I'm sure about. What is being a Trapezohedron to mean? It's a type of crystal in which all the faces are trapeziums. And a trapezium? A type of quadrilateral with no parallel sides. No, that's a trapezoid. No, a trapezoid has two parallel sides of different lengths. That's a trapezium. No, it's not. Where are your family from anywhere near Genua? My grandfather was. What's that got to do with anything? Genuine geometry has slightly different definitions to Ephibian geometry. I tend to go by Legibus' definitions in his geometries. Have you read it? This trapezodendron. Trapezohedron. All sides would be consisting of squashed squares. Well, that's a slightly crude summary, but mm, essentially correct. That's it! That's the jewel I am being seeking! Really? Much yesness! Just like that is being, but with gold platings! And you were looking for this, right? How close were you to finding it? I am of some sureness that it is to being in Ankh-Morpork, and I am of the believing that this arrangement of stars is of great importitude in its discoverage. Can I see that? Please, take if you wishing. I am not to be having much chances to look myself now. I would be of delighted nature if you would continue the looking for me. So something new. Just a few. Now, let 
Do I go this way? So, you know, I'm just kind of going according to this gap through here. Temple of Small Gods. The Temple of Small Gods seemed deserted when I returned there. I could hear mad laughter echoing inside. Mooncalf? Is that you? Leave this place! Be gone! All are cursed! All will be destroyed! It was Mooncalf, all right. Bounds of Kelly. Get to the point. Uh, show on the amulet. This amulet is the mark of that entity that you and your cult summoned. I found it on Kondo's body. Does it mean anything to you? It means that Kondo is a traitor. He won't be the only one. They all hate me! Kondo wasn't a follower of Anuano Anu at all. He worships the laddering horror. I think he might have been mad. Madness! <laughs> yes. Sweet singing in my ears. The random Seems in to the be background. fashionable at the moment. Now listen to me. I need to know who else might have been a double agent. Who? Who? I'll tell you who. They all hated me. Especially Foyd. Foyd? The troll? Yes. The troll. I never liked him. I don't trust trolls. Where is he now? How would I know? He wouldn't tell me. He never liked me. Nobody liked me. Did he say anything to you? He said he was going to change his identity, make a run for it. Such a coward. Stupid troll. What about the rest of the cult? Where can I find them? It's too late for everyone. Nothing can save us now. Where's your faith? Don't you believe that Anu Anu is the god of gods? No. I renounce my faith. Anu Anu betrayed me. He betrayed me! Mooncalf jumped screaming through the stained glass window and began to climb the temple. I could hear Mooncalf ranting as he climbed up the outside of the temple. I give my faith to one god, and it brings about the destruction of everything. Gods are nothing but trouble. Oh, you know what? I haven't saved this in a while. You can't trust them. You can't trust them. We don't need them. <laughs> they need us more than we need them. I'm letting atheism into my heart as my savior! I am a born-again atheist! That may be in the time of this video. I can't believe I survived that fall. You didn't. Your... Oh, your death, then. You've heard of me? Hmm. I'm flattered. Oh, what were the odds that I'd get hit by lightning just as I renounced all gods? About one to one, I'd say. You're not the first. Although I think you're the first to do it from the top of their own temple. Full marks for style. Oh, oh th th thank you, I think. Don't mention it. I try to make the process as enjoyable as possible. So what happens next? That depends on you. But you've renounced all the gods, so I doubt you'll be off to any of the heavens. Or hells, for that matter. Well, what about reincarnation? I always like the sound of that. Well, it's not really up to me. But if you do come back, can I advise you to be careful what you say on the top of religious monuments? I'll see what I can do. Do you know, I, I, I don't feel so... 
I don't know, so dedicated anymore. Hmm, death gives you a whole new perspective on life. I should never have become a zealot. My mother was right. I should have been a tax collector. Perhaps in the next lifetime, eh? Say what you like about Mooncalf. He knew how to put on a show. Unfortunately, he hadn't left me with many leads, although finding Foyd wasn't a bad idea. I had already a lot of practice getting information out of trolls. All I had to do was work out where he was. Well, at this point, if you logically think about it, what are the places that we could find trees at? Again, gone according to him. To the, um, um that would to get this done a little bit quicker. Alright. You're back. Well, hey. Back? Uh, had I, uh, um, um, gone somewhere? Here we go again. I'm looking for someone named Foyd. Do you know them? Foyd. Um... Foyd... No, no, I don't remember that name. He's a troll. No. Definitely haven't seen any, any tr trolls. Yes, you have. Malachite was staying here. Oh. Um... Yes. Well, no trolls apart from um, Mal Malachite. Rodan was hiding something. But what? Oh, oh, yeah. You dropped these over juicy. by Malachite's spot. Oh, uh, uh, did I? Thank you. Uh, what are they? They're bandages. Only the funny thing is, they're covered in plaster. Really? I suppose you were making some kind of modification to one of your statues. Yes, yes, that's right. Hmm? Only the... Funny thing is, none of the statues have changed. Perhaps you could explain that. Uh, um, well, um, um, Shall I tell you what I think? I think you're operating as an illegal plaster surgeon for trolls on the lamb. Half inch on the nose here, a bit extra on the chin. Even their own mother wouldn't know them, eh? But, 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 but I, 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 I'd never do anything illegal, honestly. I, 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 I uh, don't, don't worry, Melodice I'm not going to turn you over to the watch. I just want some information. Information? Yeah. I know that you're not the best person to come to for information, given your memory. Yes, that's what makes me a good plaster surgeon. I can never remember who my patients are. Do you work here? Not usually. No. I, I, I usually work wherever they need me. But you had to do Malachite here because he didn't have anywhere to go. Uh, uh, Malachite. Hmm. Malachite. Oh, come on. He was right here in the workshop. Oh, that troll. Oh, uh, by the way, I need yes, to save this Yes, yes, I, I did him. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, why is it to Did you work on a troll named Foyd? Foyd. Hmm. Um. All right, I can't give you a description. All trolls look the same to me. But if you worked on him, Ew, it would have been recently. Sister. Have you worked on a trawl in the last day or so? Yes. Yes. I, 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 I worked on someone down by the river recently. A street name down would be nice. Down by the river. Uh, I'm really hopeless with names. I worked on How a trawl. How do you find people's I'm houses? I'm really good at taking directions. Well, where was this trawl that you worked on? You walked to the river, Ankh. 
uh, uh, turn right and then take the third street on the right. It's, it's opposite an abandoned shop. An abandoned shop? Thanks. I think I can find that. Thank you. I'll take that thing. Press F1. Save with this gun. Good. All right, made about 20 minutes now. Does that crusty from the abandoned stop? The door was shut tight. Foyd, are you there? No. There's no one named Foyd here. Don't lie, Foyd. I was not Firstly, Larry. I recognize your voice. And secondly, I've spoken oh, to Rodan. Don't worry. We were doing that I'm not going to cause you any back in 99. Uh, I don't. We have seemed to have gotten to uh, annoy me and passed up a few bears. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, fourthly, and my god, they're doing it back in 1999. The big dumb troll was lying almost motionless on the floor. The floor had seen better days. All you have to do is cooperate with me, and I'll leave you alone. Were you followed? No. I've got cautious about that recently. What do you want? Oh, all right, and you're still on the wall. Amulet. Does this amulet mean anything to you? Hey, uh, yeah, that does look familiar. That's Satraps. This belongs to Satrap? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Saw it round his neck. And where is he now? Uh, dunno. I have the Falchion. I think it might be possible to stop Nylanathotep using the sword, but I need to know how. Dunno. They didn't tell me nothing like that. Are you telling me that you were part of a secret cult, but you didn't know anything that was going on? Well, I did what Mooncalf told me most of the time. Because he was the leader, you mean? Well, he was the figurehead, but I don't know if he was the leader. Then why were you following Mooncalf's instructions? He was my contact. That's how we stayed in touch. Use contact keeps you in touch with what goes down. I see. Everyone in the cult had a contact, right? That's right. So who was Satrap's contact? That was Gelid. And where can I find Gelid? Dunno, but I think he worked as a porter up at the university. That's all I need to know. Thanks. Ah, uh, but with a seven minutes, I call it quits. Go to part three. All right, uh... It had been a while since I'd been to the new hall, and I had a bad feeling about what Mrs. Foams would have to say to me if she saw me. Mr. Luton, I, I was wondering well. if you'd turn up again. Can I come in? No, you're fired. Worst bed maker I ever hired. Listen, I have to get inside the university. There's a dangerous cult trying to destroy the city and I need to talk to someone inside. That's what they all say. Now goodbye and don't come back. That wasn't what I wanted to hear. Nobby's going to happen there. It's not the perfect job for him. Things are looking busy in here, Nobby. Yeah. I don't know what's come over everyone, but they're acting crazy. Crazy? Isn't that a subjective term around here? What? Never mind. What sort of crazy things? People attacking each other for no good reason. And jumping to their deaths, too. We haven't seen such carnage since the rule of Lord Snapcase. We've got riots out there. And they're not even being started by dwarves. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, it's going man. to get worse. My How racism. can you tell? Trust me. This is only the beginning. 
I think I had to ask him about um, Gunner, maybe? I need to get into the Unseen University, and I want you to help me do it. How? Can't you get me some kind of warrant or something? No, absolutely not. Vimes would go spare if he knew I'd given a search warrant to you. A search warrant? Yeah, it's a piece of parchment from the patrician allowing us to search a premises. Um, or is that a premise? Well, I need one. I can't do it, Luton. It's more than my job's worth. The survival of the city might depend on it. You'd say anything just to get your own way. All right. If that's the way it's going to be. How did you get into my office the other day, Nobby? Uh, the door was open. No, it wasn't. I always lock my door. In that neighborhood, my coffee maker wouldn't last ten minutes if I didn't. Well, I, I found my way in. Let's just leave it at that, eh? How would Vimes feel if he learned that you'd been breaking and entering onto private property just to fill your own pockets? You're not gonna tell him, are you, Luton? He'd go spare. Well, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. What would I want my back scratched for? I mean, I'll ignore your transgression if you get me a warrant to let me into the university. I don't know about this, Luton. Uh, I, I think... Act now. You can think about it later. Now. Okay. Now. Now. Wait now. here. Now. Oh my god, they got backing animation for us. Well, if I couldn't uh. count on him as a friend, I could always count on him as a coward. Now get out before somebody sees you. Consider me gone. Until I... Come back. Back at the university line? Open up! Open up! Hold on, hold on! What is it? Oh, it's you. I have here a signed parchment from the Oblong office allowing me access to university grounds. Let me see that. You'll see it's completely in order. All right, you can come Leo. inside. She must look at a lot of those things in order to know like that they're in order. Where did you get this from? I'm a private investigator. I got this through legitimate channels. What sort of legitimate channels? That's not for me to discuss. This is most aggravating. Right, here's what's going to happen. You wait here, and I'm going to go and have a word with the watch. If this checks out, then I won't have any choice but to let you in. And if it doesn't, I'll be back with the watch to have you arrested. Is that clear? Perfectly. Don't touch anything, don't go anywhere. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. I don't like you, Luton, and I don't trust you. But you'd better not cross me on this. I'll be back shortly. I look forward to it. Sheesh. What did she think she'd do to me? Choke me with a duster? Now to find Gellid. I'd have to be fast. There was no telling what Foams would do when she got back. I certainly couldn't count on Nobby to back me up when the old battle axe came storming into the watch house. It's amazing how in some parts it's a rainy, rainy, rainy and a Stormy and this nice and tear another here he is. Ow. I'm a little weary after all. I noticed that there were blood stains on the carpet. The scent of it was overpowering. As I slipped into my wolf form, I smelled blood. I followed the trail of blood from the concourse up onto the rooftops. I found the Bledlow's body by the observatory. No attempt had been made to hide it. I don't think the murderer cared. I could hear voices coming from inside the observatory, and even though my better judgment said to stay away, my curiosity drew me on. I hoped there was a limitation to how many times curiosity could kill. The werewolf. I made my way into the observatory, and inside was a wizard whose voice I recognized. Satrap. I wasn't sure what he was doing, but it couldn't be good. The stars are right! 
A bit further! Now! Left! Left a bit! A golem was operating the cranks for the observatory's main telescope, and Satrap was calling out instructions. I guess he was looking for something. Mr. Luton, do come in. I've been expecting you. You've been using your magic to spy on me? No. I saw you through the telescope. Mind telling me what you're doing? Oh, the same as everyone else. Waiting for the end of all creation. <laughs> all creation? Well, Nylon Athotep might only destroy Ankh Morpork to begin with, but I'm sure it will get around to destroying everything sooner or later. It's all just a matter of time. So you're the leader of the dark sect of Nylon Athotep, then? Luton, I am the dark sect. They would be nothing without me. And you're a wizard? The professor of astrology, as it happens. I acquired the job only recently, although it has been empty for a while. Mathom was interested in the post, but I was fortunate enough to dispose of him as part of the summoning ritual. So there was some internal politics involved in that murder. Oh, well, no, talk, talk, no talk, talk, talk. Most of those eight murders served another purpose. People don't become cultists because they want to help the gods out. They know that it's a good way to get what they want and to justify whatever unspeakable acts they want by blaming it on a god. Carlotta needed Reagan killed because he was blackmailing her and Mundy had the sword. What about the merchant Gaimin? He and Kondo never got on. For all I know, there were reasons that the other people were chosen as well. It's often the way of these things. Kondo's dead. I killed him. Well, that'll be one less voice thing again. for Nylon Athotep to do when he gets here. How many of the cultists were secretly in the Dark Sect? Only myself and Kondo. But Foyd was easily manipulated oh, to our ends yeah, as well. He really had any kill. idea what was going on. We just used him because it suited our purposes to do so. Foyd couldn't have told anyone what we were doing because he only barely understood anything that was going on around him. What about Gelid? Did you kill him? Yes, he had to be removed. He was still loyal to Anu Anu, and he had outlived his usefulness. What have you done with Carlotta? As far as I know, she's still tending the wounds of that wretched excuse for a god. You pulled the wool over her eyes, didn't you? Pretending to worship Anu Anu. The wool? I pulled the whole sheep. <laughs> Was Horst somehow involved in your plans? Horst? Ha! Without Horst, we'd have never got Monday staying in the Octarine Parrot. The trouble with trying to murder in a geometric shape is you're really quite restricted as to where you can work. So how come Horst's name isn't on the list? He's not a cultist, Luton. He's just a greedy troll who thought helping us would get him the sword. Instead, it's going to get him and everyone else killed. I really think you should have let me say that. I mean, you say it in such a disappointing fashion. I can deliver lines like that with much greater dramatic effect. You're a vain, arrogant, dangerous man, Satrap. Thank you. Where's the trapezohedron? It's funny you should ask. <laughs> I was just looking for it now. <laughs> Once we have our hands on it, nothing will stop Nylon Athotep. The whole of creation will be destroyed! <laughs> Don't you think that laugh is a little over the top? Listen, Luton, there are fewer perks than you might think to being what most people would consider an insane psychopath plotting the destruction of everything. I have always thought that a good dose of mad laughter was something I had earned the right to indulge in. This whole plan is crazy, Satrap. 
No one in their right mind plots such mindless destruction on such a large scale. You need help. I have all the help I need, Luton. I have Nylonathotep. It's not helping you. It wouldn't help anyone. It is totally evil. Evil? No. I will not accept that. It is conditioned simply to survive, and it can survive only by dominating all other life. When all other life is suppressed, then we will have peace. Wars will end. It is a power not of evil, but of good. Satra, if you had created a spell that could destroy all forms of life, would sweep throughout the disk and leave nothing in its wake, would you allow its use? It is an interesting conjecture. But would you do it? Yes. Yes. To hold in my hand a scroll that contains such power. To know that life, death on I such am. a scale, this never was I'm like my three, six minutes choice. In. To know that the faintest of breaths speaking those words would end everything. Yes. Yes! I would do it. That power would set me up among the gods, and through Nylon Athotep, I have that power! You're deranged, Satra. I thought Mooncalf was bad, but you take the honors. I can't allow this to continue. I have to stop you. You cannot stop me now! I'm invincible! Give it up, Satrap. It's over. I pursued Satrap up onto the roof. His robes were wrecked with the stench of Gellid's blood and I couldn't control myself. The next thing I knew, Satrap's body was tumbling down the roof into a crumpled heap below. Get down here! This isn't over! Don't turn away from me while I'm talking to you! Come back! This isn't over! It is for you. Oh, a black spectre of the cold sleep of death. Leave me, your humble servant, so that I can witness the destruction I have wrought in thy name. Wrought in thy name? You should get out more often, Satra. I live to serve you. Really? Any good at making curry? Um, no. But I am causing death and destruction on a scale as yet unprecedented. And you think that makes me happy? I'm not the god of death, you know. I'm just death. I'm just providing a service. There are times, you know, when I get really annoyed by you mortals. Does that mean I'm going to be punished for all eternity? If that's what you want. Isn't there some way I can bargain with you? Nothing springs to mind. Surely, surely someone has found a way to attempt to avoid the final curtain? Well, people sometimes challenge me to a game. Do they... ever... win? No. But someone once challenged me to that one where you knock a little ball out of a hole. Flog, I think it was called. What sort of game is that? A really stupid one to play against a person who spends every second working on his swing. Can I play you at it? If you like. Last time I got a birdie on the 18th. But it was its own fault for flying so low. I'll, I'll do anything t to save my life. <laughs> Whatever you ask. You're afraid of dying, aren't you? I, I, I didn't think I would be, but I was wrong. Here, take my hand. There's nothing to worry about.
The hard part is over. Why are you being so nice to me? I tried to destroy all of creation. Well, nobody's perfect. Oh, Daniel, I can finally stop recording on this station.